Hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Space 3. This is episode 4. Last time had some tram trouble, but we got it repaired by throwing some cargo out of the way by doing some puzzle solving. And we made it to the mid station uh, after a little hectic escape from the lovely necromorphs that regenerate their limbs yay we love that so they will just never die so that's good you just got to slow them down to stasis and uh good luck we're gonna continue now where we're at uh con tower station um right here and we're gonna see what is just what's waiting for us out here you know in this beautiful beautiful ship called the terra nova um, let's, let's have a look around. We've got to get a, we got to get a card for the elevator. But before that, we can do some cool little co-op, co-op little puzzle here. Except, uh, single player. Because it, it's just me. Yes, look at this. Look at this pure, wonderful co-op puzzle solving action. Where you and a friend can... Direct the thumbstick in a direction and press the A button uh, for really engaging, <laughs> really engaging puzzles. Wow, so cool! It's really, it is quite, quite neat that they did decide to try and do like a co-op element. But like, I don't. It feels kind of tacky for like when you need to like progress together. It's like, oh, you and a friend need to open this door together. Um, it would have been like, you know, a similar thing where it's like, you need to rearrange the garbage and make it fit together and, you know, just like, co-op things. Uh, like the concept of being able to, like, you and a friend running through this game taking on, uh, taking on necromorphs together is cool. But the, the tacky co-op, you know, mechanic things are always kind of so lame. <laughs> and also, it like, it feels like if you were going to do a co-op thing, maybe better to do like a co-op spin-off game uh that way you can still have like a complete focused single player trilogy uh wolfenstein did something like that they did wolfenstein youngblood uh which was like a co-op wolfenstein game um i haven't actually played that one yet despite actually being a uh quite a big fan of the recent like the modernized Wolfenstein games. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is like one of my favorite games, one of my favorite first person shooters. Uh, it's absolutely, absolutely incredible. And if that had a co-op element to it and it did co-op stuff, probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. Um, so, because they, you know, you have to compromise certain elements of the game to, to make it work. That's my little scavenger bot in my bench. Uh, yeah, you have to co-op certain, uh, you have to co-op certain elements. You have to sacrifice certain co-op elements. Um, sacrifice certain single-player elements for co-op. Sorry, there you go. Uh, third time's the charm when you want to get the brain working. Um, if that makes sense, you know. Because uh, obviously when you play a co-op, a game that has co-op mechanics, as a single-player game, <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm, you know, doesn't really matter to me. We can create a shotgun finally, by the way. Uh, so, we're gonna do that. Cool, so if there's ever a time... If there's ever a time where we can create a weapon, it's right up top here. So, uh, we've got enough semiconductor and scrap metal. We're gonna construct a shotgun. Um, and we're going to... Replace it... With our line gun. And then I guess we'll see what type of weapon attachment we can put onto the shotgun itself. So let's have a look at the lower tool. If we put on a... What I need to do is go to the safe, get this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this. Wait for Isaac to do that. And then do this. There you go. That's my tutorial. Yes! Perfect! This is the test. I was like, when I put the plasma core on the shotgun, will it still be the projection one? And it is. Alright, line gun. Friendship ended with line gun. Shotgun is now my best friend. And we can put the plasma core on it as well. So, 
We can do shotgun for all the other enemies, and then we have those annoying things. You just push them away with your with the plasma core weapon. So that is cool. Now, in terms of this, so we've got conic dispersal actually, which is produces a reliable shotgun, near range, low accuracy, uh, a durable semi automatic rifle. Uh, oh, the default tip is actually like a semi-automatic. Okay. Military engine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Cool. So we have the shotgun. Uh, we can do plus one reload, plus one damage, and rate of fire. That is good for a shotgun. And then we can actually look into upgrading the slots on this one as well to make it stronger. So we'll make our shotgun stronger. That's good. And then we'll put our line gun in the bin and get our plasma cutter back. That's a good little that's a good little trade there. Uh, the that one. There you go. Nice. Uh, we have one small med pack, one medium med pack, and a stasis pack. Let's see how that... Let's see how that goes. Let's just... We'll just wait and see. Um, we will see. Uh, something that I really think is cool is uh, that you can get this guy back and then, you know, you look in the direction and it's like, oh, there's stuff over there. Um, I'm wondering if you have to go closer to it. Well, I mean, I can't go any further than that, so... I guess as long as I just drop this guy, let him go, just point him in the direction, off you go, little dude, and then I'll wait for him to go to the bench. So I'm going to try and just get into the habit of just dropping him off uh, whenever he returns to me. And then make sure I can get those materials. Okay, so shotgun has seven bullets. Conic dispersal and the tower key. Nice. Uh, I was just looking for something like that. I'm, I'm sorry, Tucker, but you heard Mahad's announcement. We're facing a scenario five situation. Scenario five? What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to die. We all do. If we don't, he'll just send someone over to do it for us. Come on, Valerie. Just put that down. I'm sorry. They don't have to know. I'm so sorry. I'm Not as sorry as I am, Commander. And if any one of them jacked up jarheads tries to come for me, they'll be sorry too. Damn. Tucker's like, you ain't, you ain't coming to get me. You ain't coming to get me because I fucked you up. So Tucker's not going down without a fight. Do, do, do. And we are getting the lift. So let me in, please. I see you. He's here. Uh, guess you were smart enough to make it past my lockout. So you must not be one of those no-neck dipshits on the general's goon squad. But before you go patting yourself on the back, you should know that was the easy part. Your day is about to get a whole lot worse. Ah, if only that was a two-way microphone, we could just be like, Hey mate, we're not here to kill you. You mind? Optional mission, conning tower, okay. Let's take a look. Locate the shuttle bay. These messages I'm hearing from Edwards, I have to assume they're pre-recorded, but what if they're not? Is it possible people have survived in these ships after all these years? Whoever this Edwards guy is, he seems to be hiding something. That is true, because I thought it was strange. I thought it was strange that it would be like... Is he, is he still alive? Also, this is... This is good stuff that, like, he has a personal journal for every single mission tip. Um, 
So you can actually get his like thoughts on like what's actually happening throughout the course of the game, which is really nice. Part of me even wants that I've been playing some games recently that have like self narration moments and it almost makes me wish that like the personal journal when we like enter a point he would like speak to himself. Isaac's a, Isaac seems like the type of guy that would speak to himself <laughs> considering he has other voices in his head. <laughs> um, so in the optional mission to investigate the Conning Tower, this key card I found, it looks like it unlocks the Conning Tower of the Terra Nova. Buckle's research into the Scaff Manifest revealed there may be some valuable munitions stashed up there. I should take a look when I have the chance. So that's what we're doing now. <clears throat> Let's go and have some fun with a pre-recorded uh, horror scenario. He's like set traps for us, probably. All the infected soldiers, they brought them up here for safe keeping. You may think you can put a bullet in my dome, but I've got a ready-made army that says you can't. He's rigged everything in here. Ooh, we've got the stasis things. Explosives. Beware, trespassers will be blown to bits. What, by these things? I see him, dude. They didn't exactly hide him. I'm just gonna just go ahead and assume that they are like motion sensors and they'll go off if I get close so gotta find them from a distance oh I was like uh where did that come from okay I'm gonna equip the shotgun Communication den. Okay. Maybe I should have ended up leaving that one <laughs> active because then. Oh my god. Okay, the shotgun can't remove limbs, but it can shoot him in the cock. With enough force, it can shoot their legs off. <laughs> okay, shotgun is still viable, but just not at removing the old limbs until the killing blow. Oh! Power malfunction. Now it's time for a little fun. Computer, arm explosives. What explosives? And detonate. What explosives, you bitch? Warning. Contamination detected. <laughs> Quarantine lockdown activated. Oh, okay. So the explosives just opened up the vents. Because obviously we're not really stood right next to the explosives. So the, the explosives... Open up the vents. I'm reading a quarantine lockdown. Are you? Oh fuck me. No, not really. I'm not dead. Well, there must be an override on one of the walls. Okay. I look for it as soon as I'm not being stabbed in the face. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I love a bit of environmental comedy. Like it would make sense that this fucking madman would just go and try and do like. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> It makes sense of this environmental, like, storytelling when he's just like, I'm gonna play you a tune to your death. Gotcha! Now it's time for a little fun. Computer, arm explosives. And detonate. We're gonna go down here because there's explosives and another stasis thing. Warning. Contamination detected. Quarantine lockdown activated. Oh. We love the 
We love the country music playing. She pisses when she farts. Sometimes she sharts. Booty rockin' cowgirl coming to my barn. Must be an override on one of the walls. Okay. I look for it as soon as I'm not being stabbed in the face. As soon as I'm not being stabbed in the face. Anyone wanna play? You have to you have to stand back. <laughs> it's like you have to stand back or I'm gonna blow myself up and you Stop! Warning. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Quarantine lockdown activated. That's not even an explosive. I need to upgrade this shotgun's power. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! It's one of those. Oh, it's one of those. You're alright, girl. Oh god. Warning. Contamination detected. Quarantine lockdown activated. Am I supposed to be like shutting it down myself? Get off of me! I'm not your dad. Get fucking drop kicked. Why are you just standing there like mom I shit the bed? Like fuck off. How do I fix this shit? Fuck you! No, I, c I can't fix anything. Alright, we're fucked. Okay, we just gotta... What the fuck? Castrated! Fuck off. Warning. Contamination detected. Quarantine lockdown activated. Oh! Quick! I am supposed to be doing it. Come on, hacker man. You got it. Override accepted. Quarantine lifted. Please report this event to your superior officer. <sighs> Me just unnecessarily going up against them the whole time. All right, let me get some st supplies. Because I did that poorly. And all the bodies are gone. They do that thing where bodies disappear over time instead of just staying there littering the environment. That's disappointing. Hey yeah. Hey. Guess you got a knack for killing anything that moves. Fine. But that arsenal of yours ain't gonna help you now. You can't kill electricity. Scavenger bot waiting a bench. I love how cool all this shit looks. Like, so, like, the technology and how it's all put together. It's so, it's so detailed. Like, look at this. Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you doing up there? Get the fuck out. <laughs> um, oh my fucking. Get down from there. I'm trying to. Ah! I'm trying to admire the fucking scenery. I use that term light links. It's not very scenic, but I just love it. Okay, like details like this, you know, like like the notes slitted everywhere. People getting their like framed photos all around. Like then the detail of all like the screens and buttons and all that's going on. Like there's like you know that there are like games that skip out on this shit entirely. Like drawings of markers and all this kind of stuff. Like um, Dead Space has always been so good at this. You know, there, there can be games that just go, oh yeah, just put a basic ass looking like monitor on it. And like, look, this guy got the cowboy hat. And what they don't realize is how much this shit adds to the, to the atmosphere and the feel of the game. Like, you take this stuff away or you simplify it, it loses a lot of that identity. And it's just like, people don't appreciate environments, man. Oh yeah. Just got your death beam. Buckle. Edwards has rigged some kind of electrical trap. 
Looks like a homemade job with a short-range transmitter. Short-range, huh? Well, a control box must be nearby. If you can find it... I can shoot. Got it! <laughs> you sk skip the dialogue, too. <laughs> Sorry, man. This Tucker guy ain't too bright. He didn't even try to hide that. Oh, there's another one. Run through it, dude. Yeah! Yeah, boy. Oh. It didn't really hold him for long, did it? I gotta say... Oh, God. I gotta say this. The, the stomp mechanic. <laughs> the stomping mechanic in Dead Space is, like, one of the greatest things to add to, like... A horror game because it's like it's such like this like release of energy you just be like fuck you motherfucker <laughs> you really get to like take your anger out on the thing that caused you a lot of grief um and i just think that's great take this with me go ahead open it all right So what's the problem? I'm gonna take this stuff with me. I'm gonna take my... Oh, I mean... That's one way to get it down. I'm gonna take my time travel... My time travel? My... Nice, it came with me. I'm gonna take my... Little stasis pods with me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Get fucking frozen, bitch. You come into my saloon, you get messed with. Sometimes you just have to lay down the law, dude. Fucking these human refrigerators, man. Like it's pretty it's pretty dark when you think about it. Like Gimme what's in there. It wouldn't let me pick up the box. Is there anything even in that box? There is, I can see it. It's shiny. Give it to me. <laughs> Fuck off, what the hell? It wouldn't let me pick up the box itself. Rude. Your funeral. Bam! I want his body, like, look at this. Like, look. Look at this. Look at what this looks like. Let me just lay this guy down. So this man... This fucking design is fucking great. Look at that. So he's got arm, another arm, another arm, there, there, in the fucking, like, rib cage, man. Look at this shit. Look at that guy. Aren't you dead yet? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Alright, where's the explosive? Surprise, surprise! Bet you didn't know you could reverse gravity plating and hammer someone into the ceiling. I did know that, actually. I didn't either until I tried. Go on. Step into the gravity flow. I dare you. I love how, like, he just, Edward's like... rigged up some kind of gravity well. Yeah, I see it. That was a spike in power usage from environmental control when it triggered. That must be where he's drawing power. Environmental isn't far from where you are, Isaac. Here, I'll send you the coordinates. I love how he finally gets to this point where he's like, alright, fuck. Just just take this gravity well then. <laughs> just take this gravity well, like, fuck you. Scavenger bot. Ration seals. Bot ready for deployment. What is ration seals? Is that something I can sell? What are ration seals? 
Maybe they must be another type of material. Uh, I'm not seeing it in there. That's just straight up upgrades. Mm, give me a sec. What are... So I've got my inventory. I've got 27 ration seals. It'd be nice if you could select this in the uh, inventory and see what that's all about. Because they look like things that you can... They look like those things that you can normally sell for for money, like the semiconductors and stuff, but you can't, there's no money in Dead Space 3. It's all resource based. Oh, what did I just... I pressed Y to create blueprint. Oh, I guess that means if you want to create... I created my own custom blueprint. Interesting. Um, maybe we just don't have anything... Maybe we just don't have anything yet that is... Um, needed with the... The ration seals yet? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to send this, send this bad boy back out. Anytime I get him, off you go. Go have fun, little guy. Go get me some stuff. We're gonna go turn off a gravity well. Bro, the blood's gone to that dude's head. How could you put him in upside down? That is that is inhumane to put the fridge upside down. Get electrocuted. Oh. Ah. You just ran right through without even it fucking doing anything to you. Rigged. Rigged. And like this stuff, like this is a wholly like unique looking little piece of equipment there. Alright, where's the there you are? God damn it. Oh no, this is another one. This is another thing. What's what's good though is we have 18 tungsten at the moment. We're about to get 20 again. When the supply bot comes back, we'll be able to craft a new wheel. So let's do it. Let's install the torque bar. And then, because while we're here, we may as well. So then we can actually get an idea of what's in these things. You know what would be great? If you used your brain, Isaac, and then you took the wheel out afterwards. <laughs> but no, we have to craft it. Each time. So this is, yeah, this is basically our... Um, nice. Ah, a new rotator cuff module. There you go. We already got one of those now. And upgrade circuit. So this is essentially like the power node rooms from... Uh, Dead Space 1 and 2, but you use it with like a torque bar instead. I think we got, uh, I think we got some tungsten in here just then as well, so got rewarded with a little bit of tungsten back to go towards our next, uh, our next one. So it's just a room with some good supplies, so definitely worth it. I saw you there. I, I, I saw you. You thought you were slick. Another neat detail, by the way. Like, little, little attempts that, like, developers go to to avoid like just clipping through environments and breaking like immersion I just realized that when I was against the door is walk up to a thing and you, you tuck your arm in 
so you don't just walk straight into the to the wall. I love that there's like a, a literally like unique thing of like when you're you know too close to something. Little details, man. I'm trying to point them out when I when I come across them. Honestly, man, I think in, environmental artists are, are slept on a lot for like the amount of credit that goes to games sometimes. Hello. Alright, let me see if this is motion sensor. It ain't. Alright, so they're all remote detonated uh, when he goes. Alright, time for you to get fucking attacked by a group of enemies. Have fun. So that's what we can look forward to. Is he's gonna blow up all those vents. So this is going to be another defend the area scenario. We're going to try and activate that lift and you can say, hey, hey, you thought you were slick. Which is slightly annoying, but we're going to, we'll, we'll roll with it. Time to face the music. Look, you know I'm not screwing around. And I can't just let you waltz into environmental. I don't want to oh, die. There's one there too. I'm sorry. Computer, arm explosives. Wow. And detonate. He's lost some, uh, he's lost some of his fire now. Be seeing you. Warning. Contamination detected. Quarantine lockdown activated. <laughs> <laughs> Just punch the fucking head. I'm like, off it goes, dude. Off the fucking head goes. Holy fuck. That was incredible. The timing of that was so perfect. I didn't expect that to push me back, but it did. I mean, at least he's still giving us a musical number here. He does care. Oh no! No! Not the fucking... Fuck you! Warning. Contamination detected. Oh, I have to do the lockdown. lockdown right. Activated. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I got a lockdown to lift. I gotta look for the actual... Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Where are you? Oh, I, th I think I found it. Is it this thing? Nope. Ah! No free kisses, man. I charge for those. You're still alive after that? Damn. Okay, where the fuck Warning. is the contamination detected? Quarantine lockdown activated. I feel like it's this thing. It's different to the rest. What is this? Ah. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, hang on. What the fuck am I doing? Oh. I see. I see. Warning. Contamination detected. What? Quarantine lockdown activated. Oh, as long as they're matching. Oh, they just have to match. Nice. <laughs> accepted. Quarantine lifted. <sighs> Please report this event to your superior officer. No. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, oh, I have to get like, make like a line to like meet a thing, but I was like, no, they just all have to match up. That's fine. Your name. The ghost of Tucker Edwards is an annoying dude, isn't he? Keep it going, sir. It's just given me a healthy challenge, you know? Okay. 
I want to live. 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 Live. He hotwired the power from environmental, all right. Any workarounds from your end? Nope. The only way that trap's coming down is by pulling apart the power generator somehow. It's spinning too fast. I can't see what's going on. Can you slow it down? I'll give it a shot. We're, we're definitely going to find his dead body somewhere. Takes log. Let's have a look. Having nightmares about diets. Feel dead inside, but I'm still breathing, and that's what counts, right? Cross-wired power generators are overclocked gravity pads. Trap is set. How much longer do I have to wait? Come and get me. So it's like he knew that he was going to... He knew that he wasn't going to make it out. They'd eventually get to him, but he'd have his fun beforehand. It doesn't look like anyone got to him, though, because we're, like, the first one to kind of do this whole thing. Are we just pulling this shit out? Pull it out. I never wanted to hurt anybody. You know? I just wanted to live. That's all I wanted. To live. I wanted to live. Yep, that did the trick. Gravity is reading normal again. What do you think is worse, Buckle? Dying along with everyone else, or being the only one who survives? It's not the dying that scares me. It's not making a difference before I do. You, uh, you should be able to make it to the top of the conning tower now, Isaac. If Edwards is around, that's where you'll find him. And his stash. Right. It's literally just going to be like a dead body. <laughs> What's the bet he rigged his corpse with a final fucking trap, too? That's what I would do. If you were like... If you'd set up this whole place... If you'd set up this whole place... Then the final point where you sit with all of your treasure... The captain rigs his treasure, too. Let's find out. Let me up the... Uh, let me up the lift, please. Some may call it a ladder. That's probably what its, uh, its actual name is. It's just one of you. Fuck you. Quit that shit. Quit that shit. Quit that shit. Quit that shit. In the words of Tucker Edwards, I just want to live. Fucking hell. This ladder. Scavenger bot waiting at bench. What's it got for me? That's a good haul of some tungsten, dude. I can now craft a new wheel. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm feeling it. Um, we got some upgrades. So, can we afford... <laughs> <gasps> One tungsten away. Um, because we've got reload damage. This is reload rate of fire. Hmm. This is a clip. Rate of fire. Reload. Honestly, I reckon we could go for. Oh, this is plus reload and a clip. Reload and rate of fire. Oh. Oh. Mm. Look at that. I love the ones that are like multiple things. That's great. That's that's good shit. That's that's good shit. Love that. Hell yeah, dude. All right, scavenger bot, you want to go for a ride again? Off you go. Go get me some stuff, please. Thank you. 
Just send him off. Infinite use, maybe. You just gotta wait for him to come back. He just gives you free shit. Like, it just, there's no negatives. Ooh. Three levels in the lift, okay. Well, level two. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Yo, mind if I raid your pantry, do you? Edward's access key. Who that, though? Who this? You need a shower, man. You stink. And a text log. What? Uh, let's read the text log. Where did it go? Uh, I'm assuming it was Edward's diary. Is it or is it in order of when we find shit? I think. I think it's in order of when we find shit, right? Personal log. Yeah. Okay. Um, hated country music. Bugged the shit out of me. A better man than I ever was. Too serious. Cute smile. Why didn't we ever hook up? I'm sorry I killed you. Workaholic asshole, the best of us. I wish we could have been friends. Is that Edwards, or is that one of the other people? Well, this is this is just like a. There's multiple beds in here, so just a guy, I guess. Edwards would probably be on level three. Look at that double reload animation. Access key, there you go, up there. My time to go. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Congratulations. You found me. Kinda stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. With all this time alone, I realize it's just like Sam said. I'm a lazy prick who never took one for the team. Well, team, if you can hear me now, this one's for you. Alexa, play sad country music. <laughs> See ya. There we go. Give him a view. Can we give him his hat? Here. Have a drink. Let me get this on you. You deserve to... Hang on, I need to... That's no way to... That's no way to be sitting, so hang on. Huh. Let's give you a view, shall we? We gotta... Can I... It'd be nice if I could rotate you. Gotta do it this way. If I can. Drink up. Alright. Let's just... We'll sit you there. And then... Just... Uh... That's good enough for me. You're alright, girl. Done. Now there's stasis bombs in here. Are we gonna get attacked? It's a bit telling, don't you think? It's a little bit telling. Yeah, fucking. Alright. Well, this was this the audio message that we just listened to? Alright, you found me? Yeah. You found me. Kinda stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live, and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. Hmm. With all this time alone, I realize it's just like Sam said. I'm a lazy prick who never took one for the team. Well, team, if you can hear me now, this one's for you. This is the final trap, dude. Climb the career ladder to the stars. Okay, it's a co-op storage. Spare parts, upgrades, spare parts. Ah, <gasps> fuck. No. This is when you need a co-op partner. Bro. Mm. 
Can I, I we can we can discard stuff. Alright, we're dropping some small health. So I'm pick this shit up. It's more valuable than the health. Uh, I think we can come back for that. Gonna have to upgrade our suit. It took me a while, but I realize now why we couldn't be allowed to live. So if you found this and you're still alive, I guess I can finally do my part. Computer. Blow all remaining charges. It's time for you to join us. Oh, there's one in here too. <laughs> The bodies just fade away immediately. What the fuck is that censorship crap? Huh? Where is everybody? <laughs> Nobody showed up to my party. Dude, what? Just one dude came out. There's got to be more once I go down, right? There you are. On cue. This is the... Okay. I expected better from you guys. Bam! Anyone else? Lackluster. A lackluster final bomb detonation, but that's alright. I'm going up for my health packs now. Because I cashed them in. Um, and then, how do we use a stasis thing again? There you go, the Y button. There you go. Perfect amount of inventory space. And then I'll go and take all of that back to a bench. He didn't like me playing around with his corpse. He's like, you know what? I'll actually activate final. <laughs> I'll activate the final bomb. Fuck you. Alright, let's head back down. These optional missions are great for like world building around the, the history and stuff, and they've got fun moments in them. And naturally, you get rewarded with the. Naturally, you get rewarded with the good shit while you're at it. And it's playing us music for it on our way out. You still, you still going, huh? I really should upgrade the. I feel like the shotgun needs a big damage increase. Just gotta get those upgrades for it. Where's the explosive one? That's what I was looking out for. You're just a normal guy. Where the fuck is the explosive one? Is it around the corner? I'm... See ya. Don't have time for that. No. Do you, do you guys mind? Like... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Can you? Where were all of you guys when you were, like, expected to show up at the fucking final room? Now you all show up here, late to the party. Edwards would be so upset that I made it out of here alive. Bruh. Ooh! No! If 
fucking hell, like, the, the actual genuine sound effects of those things, like, chasing after you when you're running away, is pretty fucked up. It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> well, was it worth a look? Yeah, Tucker had a nice pile of salvage. Good. I'm headed to the aft section now to check out that shuttle. Hopefully it's not a piece of shit. <laughs> there you go, conning tower, and then we can go to the aft section. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. Um, let me just quickly check. There is a bench this way. Right in front of me. I want to take my. I want to make sure we can take our supply bot with us. I'm assuming it just sits at any bench, but all right. I want to make sure I have it on my person. Hell yeah, dude. Nice, and then the resource collections of these boxes that we got. Hell yeah, man. Alright, I can unlock a circuit slot with tungsten. Telemetry spike, a mining tool that fires tempered alloy bolts. Cool, so we can make some we can make some new shit. Ooh, we got another thing. Oh, health packs consumed by self also heal partner. Oh, that's so cute. Having a partner, not being alone. Cute. It's nothing to me. It doesn't help me at all. I don't need a medic support. Because I'm doing this on my own, game. Don't rub it in my face. <laughs> I actually would prefer to play this on my own, to be honest. Alright, let's go. I don't know, Dead Space just feels like, it feels like you'd be having like a bit more of like fun if you were playing it like co-op because co-op is like a fun experience that you'd be able to find a lot of great moments. Single player is much more immersive. Single player is much more immersive, especially for, for something like Dead Space. So we're into the aft section now, where we got the, the Death Star computer on track to take us to the shuttle bay. So a little side, little side gig out of the way, and then we can move into this spot. Yeah, the optional missions are pretty cool. Now arriving, engineering and repair. God, they really made this ship actually look kind of terrifying as well. Like, this is this is a scary looking ship from the outside. Like, you see this thing, it looks imposing as hell. Audible cues indicate a resource cache is nearby. Audible cues. Is the audible cues like the... Like the... Ah. Oh. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's a tutorial to craft a tungsten bar. Well, we've actually got one. Military engine. There you go. We got another one. So I guess we'll just, again, make another one for the Greeley. <laughs> Hello. Give me all of the ammo, I guess. This was just a full-on ammo resupply room. I hate locked lockers. <laughs> I know that's the point of them, but fuck. lift take long all of a sudden like why the fucking why do you have to do this shit to me bro why do you have to do this shit to me open the lift why isn't it in fucking let me in why what the fuck 
It didn't even recharge the stasis thing when I went up to it and press A. <laughs> Fuck. I hate being chased by in infinitely regenerating enemy creature. I hate it. I found the crozier, and it's, well, it's a piece of shit. No way I can pressurize the cabin. We'll have to remote pilot it back to the repair bay on the Roanoke. Yeah, right. Let me look around. If I can build a remote relay, I can plant it on the hull. Oh, wow. Ship's in fucking... Yeah, shit's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it looks fucked. But sure, I guess it's... I guess it's fine. Craft a remote relay. Press back for details. I found zero of three sh uh, shuttle remote pieces. I'll have to find them and take them to the construction bench to craft a remote relay. The shuttle will have to be remotely piloted back to the Roanoke. The only way to do this is to craft a remote relay and install it on Crozier. That will allow Buckle and Ellie to guide it back to their location in one piece. Remote control ship. All right, take me back down. Hopefully the... What the fuck? <laughs> you got the fucking- they're making noises in the elevator and then you walk out and it goes Oh, no, that's fine. I got my stasis back. Uh-huh. Oh, what? Get over here. Get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. Get your butt over here. Ooh, stasis support. Uh, so we got a lift that goes down and a lift that goes across. And we just need to get some fucking... We need to get some things. Ah, a multi-axis gondola. Fucking fancy. Welcome to the future, dude. Bench! Oh, yeah, fucking off you go, sir. Oh, yeah! Go and explore the world. It's all yours to loot. Damn it. Bench. Have we got anything I can drop off? Ooh, remote circuit board, radio controller, RAS locator module. Cool. Um, we're gonna craft another bar. Craft a bar. I'm gonna see if I can sell some shit. Um, I'm gonna sell some of these med packs because I can just make them anyway. Just need to get some get some room, you know. Never sell ammo. Look at him go. He's trying to navigate the stairs and he can't do it. But he's trying. You got this, little dude! I believe in you! Alright, let's go down. Take leg. Anyone want a piece of this? What is that fucking... No, that was a waste. Bro, what the fuck? Who's vomiting? Oh, 
Are they up there? Uh, now you come out. Like, what the fuck, dude? Ah, uh, we got the one module. Whoa! Look at the fuck! <laughs> Whee! Wing! Fucking Mario jump sound effect, bro. Y'all need to chill the fuck out. I swear to god. Nope. <gasps> Don't go up the edge. Look at that range. Range when it comes to supplies. They won't stop coming, dude. Oh shit, I'm reloading, reloading, reloading! Leave me be. Alright, we got two parts. Pretty fucking. Ah! Bro. Ah! Who the fuck? Up we go. Who the fuck shat in your cereal? Honest to god. Just. Relax. Relax. It's not that deep. Just trying to get rid of you completely and erase you from existence, please. All right, we're going. Uh, we're going to the bottom now, I guess. Wee! Take me down. Ah. Oh. What does this do? That's probably what we're gonna install the. We gotta install the thing onto the yeah. <laughs> yeah, hold on. We'll be back for you. Take me up. Take me up. And we gotta go downstairs on this lift. <laughs> fucking. Is that fucking kid from the Wild Thornberries, dude? There it is, there's a piece. We out here. All remote pieces collected. Let's go over, back over to the bench and go and get it. We probably should have gone down here and gotten this one first. And now we'll get the gondola across. Hello? Oh, no, no, let's go the other way. It's just like constant fucking stressful music when I'm just... I'm just on my morning walk. Like, guys, chill. I'm hearing noises, but you ain't, you ain't coming up on my... You ain't coming up on my radar, so I'm gonna pretend you don't exist. Mm-mm-mm. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I just, I just got blown up. Ah! I said I was pretending that you don't exist, dude. I just got blown up. Um, we did craft the relay, so I think we have it now. So let's go down here. Damn, get on. Hey, that worked. I can see the shuttle readout. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna try and start her up. I should probably get out of the way. No good. It's out of fuel. Oh, no! There should be a refueling station on the upper floor. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay. Never, uh... I'll head up and refuel the shuttle. We can try restarting it after that. It's refueling time. Because naturally, it's out of fuel, dude. Like, look at this thing. It's the future, man. Why don't we have solar-powered spaceships? You're literally flying in space, powered by the fucking sun, dude. Like, who's out here not making solar-powered spaceships? Fuel is such a primitive concept. 
You are flying past star systems. <laughs> Shit's got to be filled up for the for the end of time, man. Stasis recharge, All right? Fucking that looked good. Ah. I'm hearing footsteps, but. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? You come to my house with that fucking hatchet and you won't just die from this shotgun? What does this shotgun even do, man? Except fucking embarrass myself. Oh, boy! That's good. Oh, yeah, whew. Yeah, me after I eat Taco Bell, fuck. God damn. Ugh. Please just stop. Oh my god. Y'all are embarrassing yourselves. I need a long hard lesson in anger management. Okay, take this lift up. 500 kilograms max. Rate of fire, wound damage. Begin refueling process. Mind you, this is the future and they still got fucking light bulb lamps that look like that. I'm gonna attach the nozzle. We got like cool telekinetic powers in our suits and all that kind of shit and anti-gravity stuff, but they're like, fuel! Yes. We still get our diesel from Earth. Oh, wait, manual? Yeah, fucking... Big old, big blue arrow. Because it's a video game. Fuel her up, baby. And then we gotta fight off enemies because we're in a video game. We can't just fucking do the thing where we're like at the petrol station, we just whistle as it fills up. You gotta fight off fucking hordes of demons. Oh man, that's that's filling up slowly. Can you slow down, slow down. This is don't fucking run around corners. Did they teach you nothing at school? You will run into someone, headbutt them, and then you will get a bump. It's not a nice bruise to have. Did I ever tell you about the time that I got a black eye uh, when I was a kid in school that these two kids were arguing with each other and one was holding a cricket bat and they were just fucking arguing because kids just argue over stupid shit because we're all filled with weird emotions and he takes a swing at him with the cricket bat and I'm walking up the stairs to go to my class to learn things and I take a cricket bat to the fucking eye. <laughs> Just an innocent bystander walking up the stairs as these two dudes are having a fucking tussle. And I took a cricket bat to the eye. It hasn't- things haven't been the same since then, dude. Ah, uh, and then I- Okay, take takes that out. four. Try again. That's more like it. Okay, I'm initiating a test fire of the shuttle's engine. Take cover. This could get hot. Ah. I'll just fucking hide in here. That stupid bloody ancient technology. Oh. Oh. oh well God. done. Uh, Isaac, I think I just started the launch sequence and I don't know how to stop it. You what? Look, just get out of that chamber before it bakes you to a crisp. Uh, the lift is broken. Oh, now I can move. Because it was timed. Okay. Thanks, Ellie. Ellie's doing this on purpose, dude. This is like, oh, perfect. This is a great opportunity to get rid of my ex-boyfriend. Oh! Just waiting. Okay, cool. She's like, I'm gonna I'm a burn this motherfucker alive. This is great. This is a great opportunity. Fucking, oh, that's one way to get rid of this, dude. Uh, which way are we going again? Down the ladder. All right. Goodbye. Initiating launch protocol. 
All hands, clear the launch chamber. All hands, clear the launch chamber. Beginning systems check. Fucking hell, Ellie. Oh, the lift isn't fucking. Of course, I gotta call the lift, bro. Fuck off, man. LA! Why are you fucking doing this? Oh, As if the fucking rocket fire isn't eviscerating those dudes. Like, I get that they regenerate, but. What the? He just disappeared! Stop. Ah! Uh, why is the fucking lift locked? Oh fuck, I gotta go another way. Shit. Which way am I going? The airlock door is stuck! If the shuttle launches before it opens- Son of a bitch! Oh my fucking right. god. I'll check the gears! Now I gotta open the doors too! I swear, man. If I wasn't an engineer, I'd be so dead. No, dude, fucking chill out. Oh, <laughs> I had enough health to survive getting burnt alive. Fucking game. Let me... Systems nominal. System check complete. Well, isn't that good? Isn't that good? Let me just rush over to open the doors for you. Just give me a sec. <laughs> just slightly burnt to a crisp there. Oh, what the fuck? There's something wedged in the gears. <laughs> like military ordinance. I'm gonna try to clear it. Explosive. Oh God, be careful, Isaac. Can I... Can I... Can I not use these things? Look, they're massive turret. They're guns, but... Do I, oh, do I have to turn them on? Ah, oh, it's the one on the left. Okay, this is gonna be great. Isaac, the shuttle's gonna launch any minute. How's the door? Ah, uh, oh, f- You're getting jailed! I'm clearing them as fast as I can! What the fuck? Certified video game moment, bro. I'm trying to fucking open some shuttle doors and you're gonna make me do a fucking turret defense. No! You guys ever played Bloons Tower defense? Yeah. Oh god, it's begun the final countdown! Isaac! <sighs> I'm almost there! Alexa, Shit. play the final countdown. Do a barrel roll, Isaac. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> you did it. He did yes. it. Yay! Yay! Isaac. Woo! Let's get the docking bay ready to receive the shuttle. Isaac, we'll see you when you get back. Oh yeah, cool. After you almost tried to burn me alive, that's fine. And now I just have to fucking float on it. Fucking. Have to float on over with seeking minds and everything. Orient to ground. Good. Get out of here. Where are we going again? Just straight ahead? Yeah. Eee. I see you looking at me. Alright, CMS Terran over space dock. Fucking, what a chaotic little episode, huh, guys? What a chaotic little episode. All in good fun. Ah. I want to see this. So we got to one of these bad boys. Ah, there you go. So it's like a canister in the thing. There you go. Makes sense. Ah! 
Ow! <laughs> Fucking stop! Let me learn. Personal space. Personal space. I think I'm going to that thing, right? That. Oh. No oh, fuck. <laughs> that doesn't even do much damage to me, to be honest. In here, in the personnel docking bay. Whee. And then we go back up here. Nice. So, how's the shuttle look? Yeah, this thing needs more than plating. It's missing the port engine. There's a small wreck near the Greeley. It could be a shuttle. We should check it out. All right, Rosen, lock, suit up. You're on engine duty. But, sir, my legs... Yeah, I'm not asking you to do jumping jacks. Now get moving. All right. Hey, Rosen, I'll meet you there. Whatever. Whatever. Objective added. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a port engine. So we're back in... We're back in our little shuttle that can take us back to the... To the Greeley. Um... Because there is a port engine nearby, but I can also open that door now with the uh, with the torque wheel, which is cool. So we're gonna fly over to the Greeley and we're gonna open that up. So that's the Terra Nova completed. God damn! And what a what a terrifying um, vehicle that is. But we're back over to the Greeley. Open this door, find ourselves a little poor engine. And that'll be that'll be fine. God, just the fucking <laughs> That turret defense just getting thrown out of the place as well. It's just classic. Just classic. Alright, so where are we going from here? Chapter 7, Mayhem. So it wants us to go to that thing. Um, at the CMS Greeley. We're going to fly on over here, though. Instead. Is this it? Hey, you wanted an engine? Here you go. It'll do. Uh, it's shit. Just like our plan. Are you always this helpful? Hey, some of us just want to go home, all right? I've disconnected all the lines and service tubes, but hell if I know how to get it out of there. I'll figure it out. Go get your equipment together so we can tow it back to the repair bay. Yeah, he's like, quick complaining, bro. Bro, what? Why can't I go in? Why can't I go in the Greeley? Can we really not go back? Once, like, it's, once it's done, it's done? Damn. Um, we, maybe we have to get this engine first before we can go back in, but we will see, because that will be next time on Dead Space. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching uh, a little bit of chaos take place in Dead Space 3. We've got a shuttle. We need to get an engine. We'll do that next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then.